The Singer Heavy Duty 4452 soy machine, just by its name, can handle going through a lot of heavy denim. And I'm gonna actually create kind of a denim seam where we are gonna talk about how you get up and over that really thick, bulky um, edge where you might be hemming up in a pair of pants if that needs to be. And you find that as we open this up and then even start to turn this edge multiple times. You know what happens when you get going here. You get, uh, let's see here, so we're three layers, six layers, nine layers by the time we're actually sewing. And depending on how thick that denim is, usually you kind of come up here and you kind of stall out, you gotta push it, and that's when you break a needle. And so speaking of needles, first off, you do need to put in a bigger needle. Put in a denim needle, those needles are sharper, but you also have this fabulous tool that came with your machine. So this is called a multi-purpose tool. Uh, we can use it for a variety of things, but for this seam, I want you to notice that it's thinner on one side and thicker on the other. So I mentioned about coming up to a seam and kind of stalling out. So your presser foot has to go up this mountain and the feed dogs really aren't touching much at all. So it's not able to kind of pull it through. But if your foot stays level, and that's what this is gonna do, it's gonna level our foot, then it doesn't matter how thick the fabric is underneath the foot because it's going to have equal pressure against those feed dogs and it will pull your fabric through. The other thing is, is if you are having to push it, lengthen your stitch length out. So I'm going to reach over and turn my stitch length to three, maybe even three and a half if you're working on something really thick. Now I kind of folded this up as it would be. So uh, the right side is over here. So if you want the prettiest looking stitch, when they say top stitching, that is because that's exactly how they want you to stitch from the top. That's exactly how they want you to stitch from the top. So as we start to sew here, I want you to stop when you start heading up that mountain. So see how that foot is starting to point up to you. You also notice that the needle is down in the fabric. So if it didn't stop down like mine did, I want you to turn your hand wheel until that needle is down. It's gonna hold your stitch because the next thing we're gonna do is lift up the presser foot. Take the tool, measure, you, know, you might find that for this fabric, it's not as thick as some of my denims I've worked on. So I'm gonna use the thinner side. It's gonna come underneath the foot, but just right to the seam. So I'm not sliding it under the foot like this, but it's just kind of holding the back of the presser foot level as it's now on top of the thicker part. And watch, without even having to push it or anything, it has easily traveled with even stitches across the thickest part. Same thing when you come down the other side, you might get one long stitch as it kind of falls off the front part, but we can avoid that by just placing the multi-purpose tool. So you stitch, and then until you find your off the back thick part, pull it out and then continue to stitch. So what you're gonna notice here is that you have perfect even length stitches for when it starts to go up and down over something really, really thick. So don't forget you have this fabulous tool. We do use it for other things, including, see that little hole there? That's a great way to slide up your needle and catch it when you take it out and also hold it up to the highest point when you are inserting a new needle.